Farm Guy here, the Newmont Test for Farming Simulator 22, and this is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 for this test here on Fox Farms, and this is the John Deere S600i series by JHHG Modding. It is 56.93 megabytes to download. It's a pack of two. Uh, harvesters or combines as we call them up here in Canada land 37 slots each so uh, you um, older console users be aware of that but that's for the first one so let's have a look at them in the store before we go any further and here we are we have the uh, S680i to S690i series and the S660i to S670i series. So these two, as you can see, there are some differences. The prices, uh, the slots, as I mentioned, are the same. Two slots for the second one. So if you want more than one of the same one, you're okay there. So let's get into the... Um, the first one here at $198,000. It is your standard harvester. Now we have a foldable extension at uh, the 14,100 liters. So, so information first, 348 to 473 horsepower, variable transmission, 1,250 liters of fuel, 19 mile per hour maximum traveling speed. 14,100 liters of hopper capacity at 20.2 tons. Now you notice there are already some additional charges for options which I disagree with. Uh, it's kind of like a hidden charge. So you look at the price and then it's like, oh, by the way, these are all extra charges that you must have. There's no choice. Uh, so with the factory foldable extension, it's $1,000 or 5220 dollars So either way, you're paying an extra charge. You can make that up to 17,620 liters. Engines. The base engine of 348, uh, or sorry, 473 horsepower is going to cost you automatically $14,800, whether you like it or not. Uh, you, we can move that up to the 2015 model and it's costing you twice as much for the same horsepower. Why would you do that? I don't know. Uh, you can bump that up to the 491 horsepower for 36 grand or the 491 horsepower for $41,000 2015 model. Why would you pick that? I guess if you like to spend money. Uh, then uh, 528 horsepower same thing there the 2012 is 43,000 the 2015 is 50,000 now I understand in real life that engine would cost more in 2015 than it did in 2012 however the same horsepower in this uh, in this game it seems like it changes some interior colors too so just be aware of that wheel brands lizard continental michelin midas and lizard lizard we have some interesting choices we have the standard wheels at seventy eight hundred dollars yes that's the minimum charge we can go with uh, uh the wider front wheels with a rear assist uh, or yeah wider front wheels two wheel drive or rear wheel drive at least it charges the same for that this is nice $8,400 in a crawler track at $14,000, but the minimum amount you must pay is $7,800 for the Lizard. Continental is a bit cheaper for the base model tires, and we can bump that up to uh, different styles, and the crawler track is going to cost you fifteen grand. Michelin, uh, that's uh, no charge, extra, nice. Uh, but we can um, bump those up to a wider tire. And then, of course, the crawler track is the most expensive so far at $19,700. Midas, you start with that one, and you can bump it up to a crawler track if you like. And then back to Lizard. Numbers. Uh, if you want to add a number, it's going to cost you $600. One till nine. Warning signs. We have um, some markers on the ladder and in the rear here. 
warning signs two, safety triangle, safety triangle uh, plus signs. So altogether, uh, uh, $1,040. Rear hitches, we are gonna try these out. Well, one of these, out. we got the standard rear hitch. We got the Lakota stick hitch extension. And then we have the foldable hitch extension, which we're gonna try out because I don't see an, um, an option in the controls to extend that or not. I think it's automatic. Pipes, 5.6, 5, uh, 6 6.9. 6.9 foldable, 7.9, and 7.9 new, 7.9, 7.9 new pipe, and then 7.9 new foldable pipe for $15,000. Rear axle standard or wide at six grand. Regular vein tailboard, or you can go with a standard tailboard, $5,470, and a license plate. So, with all those options, we have successfully added $92,776 to the purchase price for a total of $290,776. Just so that you're aware, let's buy this one. And we'll look at the second one. A lot of very similar choices here. However, the uh, you start with... 320 horsepower, variable transmission, 1,250 liters of fuel, 19 miles per hour, and 10,600 liter of hopper capacity at 20.2 tons. You can bump that up. Of course, it's $1,000 for the standard capacity, which burns my butt a little bit. Uh, you can bump that up to uh, 14,220 liters for the $5,120. Engines, again, well, not again. This one, no extra dollars for the standard horsepower engine, which is nice. You can bump that up to uh, the newer model, 2015, and that's going to cost you $8,900 for the same horsepower. Mm. <clears throat> 373 horsepower for $9,200 or $1,470, or $14,700 dollars for the 2015 version. Yes, and those are the two horsepower choices you get. <clears throat> right, and again, inside the, the, the color of the seats change, that's how you know you have the older one or the newer one, ha ha. Wheel brands, we have the same wheel brands here, Lizard, Continental, Michelin, Midas, and Lizard. And in Lizard, we have all the same choices for tires, as well as Continental, Michelin, Midas. You have uh, the front and rear assist uh, for all of these choices. So two-wheel drive, rear wheel assist, crawler track, two-wheel drive. No rear rear wheel assist with the crawler track, I don't believe. Although it doesn't really show anything actually changing on the rear end that I can see. Possibly yes or no. But anyways, uh, there you have that. Numbers, yes, you can choose numbers. Warning signs are the same. Rear hitch is the same as well. The choices, the choices for pipes are all the same. And a rear axis wide or narrow. Uh, chopper tailboard, the same choices there. So a little cheaper. Uh, with all the additional, I didn't put all the most expensive ones, I don't think, but um, we have, uh, with all those options, added $57,000 to the purchase price for a total of $219,376. We'll buy that one too. Let's go over there because I want to show you um, the unfolding and the starting up and we're going to we're going to hook up this trailer and I'm suspecting this oh it's already out that's interesting oh I guess it doesn't hmm oh I see right so when you f f when you unfold the trailer the hitch tucks in so in order to carry, in order to pull your trailer, you have to fold. Oh, that's annoying. Now, a reason that's annoying, and I'm going to say it right now, is 
I'll often travel uh, if I finish up a uh, a field I might have some crop left in my tank in my hopper that I want to try travel to the next field and if you are towing a trailer oh will it hook up still no it's it's going to be uh, mm. so I wouldn't recommend having the foldable trailer hitch if you like to drive around and tow a trailer with your harvester unfolded uh, with that particular hitch that's all I'm saying right okay let's hop in and see our this is the uh, s670 options uh, standard options as you show as I shown the folding and unfolding it'll fold the pipe if you have the foldable pipe let's unfold it again uh, we have L1 and right stick up and down and that actually opens the side cover which shows all the wonderful details inside and you can see all the hard work that the modder has done to detail the insides of these things even though most of the time it's closed and you don't see that so an incredible amount of detail and work goes into these harvesters that is rarely shown unless you get the option to unfold or open up that side and uh, the left side is no different if we turn it around here L1 and R1 right stick left and right stick down also opens up these side panels here and shows all the wonderful belts and uh, motor uh, components exhaust etc uh, very very nice I'm sure there's even details inside that are hidden that um, have been yeah just an incredible amount of work and detail in these um, machines uh, just astounding right uh, that's it for um, like just you have the pipe out pipe in and pipe out and disable straw but everything else is a pretty much standard um, harvester operation uh, interior uh, we have the two display monitors uh, the one bottom one there is showing rpm and speed um, that's about all you get with console operation i know there are some extra things you get with um uh with pc and mac that uh, console users don't have access to but that's their lights beacons right and uh the other model is pretty much the same we have l1 and x unfolds oh started up first l1 and x unfolds like so and that folds away that foldable hitch again this one we have uh if we disable the straw disable straw swath enable straw 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 swath one of these says that the uh, the the tailboard folds away if you're enabling or disabling the straw swath these ones don't have uh anyways interior on this one is the the uh, well that folds down when you get in uh, interior looks very similar on this model some nice animations it says uh, let's see here signals yeah little little a pillar display there it was uh, showing us signals and uh, hazard lights and so forth so information in there of course we have the uh, the option to open and close these again like so very nice right so let's um let's hop over to here this one has a full a, a full hopper and let's see how fast it unloads that's this one is let's jump in here this is the large one at the 17,620 liters and then we'll show a little bit of its operation when it's um, there we go let's jump in there and turn it on 
and see how fast it unloads that. That's always of interest to me to see how fast a hopper will unload from full because that's time spent in the field. It seems pretty standard. Nothing overly fast or slow. I'm sure it's uh, based on real life uh, offload speed. Right, so there you have it. All right, you can you get the idea. So let's start it up, and um, let's um, let's see if we can. Uh, I want to see. Uh, we we have it turned on. Whoops! Come on, there we go. Let's. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Right. So right now it's it's on, ready for harvesting. And these yes, so we got some belts belts and gears and all that thing moving inside so you can see that when you turn on when you turn on the harvester all these inner workings start working as well so that's really neat I'll hire a worker and we can see the spread the swath spread at the back very nice and if we jump into here this one's also nearly full and um well i showed the i uh, have the this is the standard one we have the straw a straw swath here it's dropped it dropped it here unfortunately i tried to stop it before it <laughs> it end it uh, uh before it got to the end to show you uh the animation for the swath straw swath drop so we're going to go over here and um, I'm going to go over to this uh, other field here and uh, probably have to stop the because uh, I have oats and this is not oats here is it I don't know this is barley okay hold on one moment all right so we're ready to go here by the way I have uh, the 50 foot John Deere header the base game header on there just so you know it can handle it very well and here we go into some barley and uh, there is the uh, spread and swathing like so very nice just like so Of course, the header is the base game header. These don't come with any headers or anything. So use whichever one you want. I just use the John Deere 50 foot because that's the largest base game one. And uh, yes, they handle it very well. Of course, I picked the higher horsepower model. You might um, experience a little bit of sluggishness if you go with the lower horsepower. You might have to go with a smaller header. But anyways, that pretty much wraps it up there. Let's drop that up there and we can take a good look at it. And there you have it. That is your John Deere uh, S600i series by JHHG Modding. It uh, mentions this is John Deere uh, European series of harvesters. So that's all the European kind of warning signs and so forth and so on. So you can see the uh, signal lights at the back there. Thank you all for watching. I'm Louis Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.